Peppy here, custom made RC on a budget. This is the place to be, boys. I'll be talking to you a little bit about this vehicle right here, the Summit. Right away, if I was looking in, I'd say, wow, hey, check that out. You can't see through the Summit. That's right. You can't because I put a special... Um, mud shield inside it which works in many ways um, as a sort of body layer to hide the components and it's also good for keeping out the mud the water uh, the dirt you know rocks from hitting your components which is absolutely a freaking bonus for Pepe that he did that and all around it's a sweet looking vehicle it is nice and um, it's so diverse so universal so beautiful looking i really uh like what i did to it <clears throat> uh yeah i put the big uh, joe tires on it i do also like my original summit tires where which are very very nice uh, you know, I got them all green in there, and uh, you subscribe, I'll tell you how I did them green. Uh, paintless. They are nice tires. Um, I want to be talking a little bit about this body. Sweet looking body that I did. A lot of uh, little updates that I did. And uh, the Ford logo there, I put all headlights on it. I put that motor. I found it from uh, an, antique, an antique shop up here in uh, Stony Creek. This uh, light bar over here is made from uh, plastic that I had lying around and the LED lights inside are white LED lights um, and I built a bracket behind it so you know and then I drilled holes and I put the LED in light inside but they weren't waterproof so I built a shell of plastic uh, out of just plastic. You know, you, you form it. I formed it and I built it around the lights where and if it rains or, you know, mud can't sling at it or puddles, it's a great shield around that LED. And I also, at the top of it, I did a nice logo right fat shark there's a little peppy there yes i am italian proud of it and i got some lights all up in the back there so when my light bar turns on those reflectors turn red which is also a nice uh detail to that i got lights all around the truck all around the top brake lights um all the side lights up all the the rocket panel lights up right all around the truck and I also installed a button over here for um, multiple light shows like flickers blinking um, flashing uh, all that kind of good stuff right and I also built this bracket right out of uh, hobby cars you know the bumpers and stuff and I cut it and I installed my fat shark FPV uh, camera and here is the transmitter which i will now show you the inside of my vehicle the lovely job that is in there and that i have done it's all nicely painted so all the wires are hidden except for you know the transmitter and um, where the light bulb is hooked up to uh, to get that uh, power to power the fat shark glasses and this um, wire I got hanging over here, it just plugs into a 9-volt battery, which operates all these lights of the shell. But the lights that are on the summit operate when you turn on the summit, which is cool. Because <clears throat> if I don't want these lights, I just don't plug them in. It's super, super strong. Uh, very, very durable tape, uh, uh, paint. Uh, 
I love the way I hit all the wires where you have to do a phenomenal job or else you have to get back into it. Um, up here, right there, that dot over there is an LED light which shines on this uh, reflective glass tape which gives it a shine when you're driving. The whole shell lights up when you're driving which is just a bonus, bonus feature, I think. Now, you saw the front, you saw the sides, you saw the inside. The back is absolutely stunning also. I like the way that turned out. Awesome. Expedition Ford logo. That Ford logo is just made from a keychain from the dollar store, or the key store, <clears throat> with the Ford logo on it. So if you want Mazda, whatever, you go to a keychain store and it's perfect size to put on your, your uh, shell of your vehicle that you uh, prefer. Um, I love this shell, love the way it turned out, love that two-tone expedition. Uh, it's really cool looking, I think anyway. This is the shell I'm talking to you about. It's just very easily removed. Um, if I don't want to pull it out, I can always unzip it. Unzip it, and this is made out of a plastic from uh, pillowcases that you buy at Sears department store, and you can get at your components inside there and attach your battery without pulling out this uh, this uh, contraption that I built. It's called the mud uh, the mud guard. Uh, I think it's so ideal for a vehicle of this of this uh, uh, stature. Um, it's it's it saves the components. It is a waterproof vehicle, but now it's water water mud uh, slash puddle proof. It's made out of a plastic from um, a book duotang, and I formed it around the uh, the Sumix body the way you see all the forms the curves, right? And then what I did is uh, the liquid rubber. I just painted the liquid rubber on it, and it. it came nice and flexible where it won't fall apart and it's kind of cool and then the green I did it with a sharpie pen uh, it looks sweet it's durable you guys want um, detail of how I made it subscribe I will show you and I will ask I will answer any question that you ask um, I got plenty of more details I think it's actually really sweet it just fits on perfectly beautifully with uh, no uh, no complications, you just apply it there and tuck it in. Make sure it all goes into the Velcro, right? It attaches to the Velcro, right? Over here, you got to make sure it goes in. Sometimes, you know, it happens, right? You're not going to get it the first shot in, but it happens, right? You make sure it all goes in there. And uh, clickety-click, barber trick. It's in there. I think it's sweet. It does its job. There. Now, I put the cover back on it. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love it that you can't see through. Uh, I love that the most about what I did to this vehicle. And yes, what I like about my vehicles is that they're very different. Uh, it's just different vehicle that I that I do. I, I do different setups. I I focus on the vehicle and realize what needs to be done to the vehicle, but at a very low cost. I don't I don't think I'm hitting something down here. I'm not. I didn't apply it properly. There, there we go. It just when something doesn't sit well, I I intend to try to fix it. A little better now don't get discouraged about this thing it actually it's really really good for your vehicle if you want to construct that something like that for uh, this type this type of vehicle where um, you're bringing it through these rough terrains it's just phenomenal 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 what you can do to these vehicles take care of them they'll take care of you and I also put LED lights from the dollar store instead of spending a shitload of money You know in the nighttime they reflect you see those lights. I got them on all four tires These are the type of lights you put around your neck to read a book. I put them around the, the tower and I, I just 
shaped them to the wheel. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Very cool, very cool, very cool, I think. Yeah, and uh, I hope you like it, guys. Subscribe, let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. The Summit, guys. Thumbs up if you love it, thumbs down if you don't. I hope you do, though. I spent a lot of money on this thing, and I don't think I'm ever going to spend that much money on a vehicle again. But you know what? The Summit is a vehicle that it's going to last you a long time if you take care of her. Guys, this is Peppy. See you later, eh?